inimalizie so bible uh, na leo najibu maswali mawili and today i'm answering two questions kwa nini shetani anawatenga watu na neno la mungu why satan disconnect people from the word of god kwa nini shetani anawatenga watu na neno la mungu why satan disconnect people from the word of god kwa nini shetani anawatenga watu na neno la mungu why satan disconnect people from the word of god namba mbili and second njia anazotumia shetani Where is it Satan uses kukutenga na neno la Mungu to disconnect you from the word of na God and how to overcome tujibu swali la kwanza Let's answer the first question Kwa nini shetani anawatenga watu wengi na neno la Mungu Why Satan separate many people from the word of God Moja one anajua kabisa He knows for sure hakuna ushindi There is no victory njia neno la Mungu outside the word of God Andika hiyo itakusaidia Write that one down Shetani hataki uwe sambamba neno la Mungu kwa sababu anajua huwezi hakuna ushindi Satan does not like you to align with the word of Na god because you know there is no victory ushindi utakao dumu not only victory but also permanent victory outside the word of god unaweza ukafunguliwa kabisa you can be delivered ukaponywa na hivyo vifungu you can be healed from bonds kama you never be immersed in the word of god lakini kama ugezamishwa katika neno la mungu ushindi uliopokea bado ni dhaifu that victory is saved bado ni dhaifu again is weak bado ni dhaifu will remain weak na mali lazima ufike mahali there's a point you have to say unjue kutetea kile Mungu alichokufanyia kwa neno lake there must come a point you know how to defend what god have done to you through so his shetani, word so kuchukua hichi bwana amenipa satan, you can't take yeah, this god again you anakipiga kwa sababu anajua bwana amekupa he knows he's attacking you because he knows god has given Wesi, you haribu haribu duma yangu bwana amenipa anasema najua ni bwana amekupa i know the lord who gave it to you sasa Bwana amekupa unalijueje neno la Mungu so uweze kusimamia kile Mungu alichokuahidi Now God has given to you but how do you stay with it with the word of God Kwa nini shetani anawapinga watu wengi na neno la Mungu Why Satan is opposing people the word of God Ama kulisoma wenyewe Or to read it themselves Ama wakihubiriwa kanisani walale Or when they preach through their sleep Ama wakilisikiliza wasiwe serious Or when they hear the word of God Nini they ignore Kwa sababu shetani anajua It's because Satan knows Ushindi wote uliopokea Any victory of received Sio na msingi wa neno ndani yake That lack the foundation of the word Ushindi huo hautadumu That victory would never be permanent Wangapi wamekoa wanaombiwa magonjwa Au many people been prayed na baada ya mbele magonjwa unashangaa na roho time the disease come back unaambiwa kitu fulani na baada ya muda unashangaa kile kitu kama ulimshukuru Mungu na sadaka ukatoa asante Mungu kimeisha ghafla unashangaa kinarudi kwa sababu gani you thank God and the same thing come back to you why kwa sababu hukujua because not know ushindi wowote uliopokea any victory received ambao haujafungamanishwa na neno la Mungu not connected with the word of God ushindi hautadumu that victory that victory is not permanent kwa sababu hiyo sasa shetani anataka kushinda kila wakati because of that certain want to be revealed against you Ata all the time neno. so certain will oppose you from reading the word kupinga usisikilize neno certain will stop you from listening the word Ata of god kupinga mbali na mafundisho some will separate you away from sana sana mafundisho yanokutengeneza it's just a teaching that mafundisho yanokufanya uwe vile mungu anataka make you to be the way god will do certain will attack you and say hapana sasa zingine utakuwa unaisikia kama hivi lakini hayapiti something to be hearing but you don't understand unachanganyikiwa tu You are there you feel like you know kwa sababu anataka kuendelea kuteka advantage ya kukushinda because Satan want to continue taking advantage of the enemy na wakamshinda the bible say they overcame kitabu cha ufunuo wa Yohana the book of revelation they will overcome by the blood of the lamb na and by Neno. the word of testimony neno the word ni njia moja wapo itakayokuwezesha is one way that will make you wish maisha ya ushindi to live the life of victory <laughs> i'm not saying prayer si semi maombi prayer out of the word of god you are weak maombi nje na mungu ni dhaifu no matter how you shout like a lion hajalishi namna gani unapata sauti kama simba if you are out of the word of god you, you must be defeated lakini kama uko nje ya neno la Mungu lazima so shetani atakupinga usisikilize neno so shetan will oppose you not to hear the word of god ama usisome neno la Mungu will oppose not to read the word of god na hata ukihubiriwa namna hiyo wewe unaanza unaenda kariako unarudi you think about going to kariako and you come back temeke, unarudi, so your mind is going up on your own unaenda unarudi so you are here go to make you come back umerudi you have also cooked some beans and come back kupika na chapati unaangalia namna utakavyoingia pale sebleni unakoroga unga wa mayai na nini so unajiandaa kuchakata chapati za haraka haraka huko hapa hapa lakini so neno la Mungu naubiriwa lengo la shetani ni kukuzuia you are here in the word of god is, pre- is, a, is a preach but you are not here man is settled because satan want to stop you 
Unataka kuishi maisha ushindi? You want to live the life of victory? Ebunga namna hii. Ai. Wanga wataka kuishi maisha ya ushindi? How many people want to live the life of victory? Nionyeshe mtumishi yote wa Biblia ambaye akuwa na neno ndani yake. Show me any means in the Bible who are no prophet, word. You will find the word of God. Alikuwa nabii utakuta neno la Mungu. Utaona wanarifaa maneno ya Mungu. You see they refer the word Yesu of God. Yesu mwenyewe pamoja na kuwa mwana wa Mungu. Jesus is said being the son of God. Quoting the word of God. Lakini alikuja akinukuru maneno ya Mungu. Hata kwa shetani alikoti maneno ya Mungu. Even Satan alinukuru maneno ya Mungu. Ushindi. Victory. Any victory you receive. Mbali na neno la Mungu. Away from the word of God. Hautadumu. You can receive yes. Ndio maana Yesu alikuwa anawaponya wale vile. Yesu Jesus was healing them. Healed the cripple. The blind. And he said be careful. Wekuwa mzima. You are healed. Don't sin again. Wakati wa Yesu. The time of Jesus. Akikuponya. If he healed you. So what nifuate. So what come next is follow me. Hawajanisikia anachosema. What can I tell you follow me? Why telling you follow me? Jesus anajua ya kwamba pepo moja atokapo mtu. Jesus know when one demon go out. Ataenda atazunguka zunguka. Alafu atasema ah. And he say ah. Sikuondoka kiraishi. I don't live like God. Goja nirudi kwenye nyumba yangu. Anasema akikuta ile nyumba imefagiliwa. When he find that house ataenda aingie kwanza. He want to enter. Atatafuta wengine saba. Seven others. Walio wabaya zaidi yake. Worse than him. Alafu atakuja watabuingia enter this man kwa nini why kwa sababu because outside the word of god shindi uliopokea the victory you received hautadumu will not be permanent possible you can see what unaona unaponywa hapa signs people are here they don't even born again sometimes so miujiza ni njia mungu kuokoa pia watu because the miracle the way god save people but after you receive your miracle ukitaka kadumu if you want to be permanent you know stay in his word hallelujah hallelujah anasema ninyi mkitaka ndani yangu if you dwell in me na maneno yangu my word will dwell inside of you ask anything mtakalo that you need and you shall receive shetani anakushinda Satan overcome you kila wakati every time kwa sababu anakutenga nani because he separated you from the world number 2 the second point kwa nini shetani anawapinga watu na neno la Mungu why Satan oppose people from the word of god jambo la pili the second point shetani anajua Satan knows shetani anajua Satan knows kuku tenga na neno la Mungu to separate you from the word of God ni kumrahisishia kazi atakapokujia is to simplify his work when he come to attack you yani shetani pia ku attack when he certain come to attack you uvamia to attack you if you are weak in the word of God kama uko dhaifu katika neno la Mungu kazi hiyo ni rahisi sana that work becomes so simple very very simple ni rahisi mno ndio maana Daudi anasema hii moyo ni mwangu. David said in my heart. Nimeliweka neno. I've kept the word. Kwenye agano jipya. In the New Testament. Hatuweki neno kichwani. We don't put the word in your head. Huo ni ufarisayo. That is being a Pharisee. Kwenye agano jipya. In the New Testament. Tunaweka neno moyoni. We keep the word of God in your heart. Kwa sababu likiwa moyoni. Because when this word in your heart. katika siku hizo za mwisho. Bible says in the last days. Nitaiandika sheria yangu. I will write my law. Moyoni mwangu. In their hearts. In their hearts. In their hearts. Kwa hiyo kutokuwa na neno not having the word ni uraisi wa shetani kukutandika. That means kwa nini unasoma maandiko ya Yesu mfano? And Jesus gave the illustration. Anasema he says mtu asielisikia neno la Mungu na kulifanya a person does not hear the word of God and do it. Would be likened to a foolish person. Ambaye amejenga nyumba yake juu ya mchanga who build his house on a sand alafu anasema and he says upepo ukaja when the wind came who bring the wind is not gone habari yako imetulia kiasi gani lakini kwa kisi tu ya kwamba upepo utakuja the wind will come kutulia kwa bahari ya kuzuia upepo kuja you know calmness of the sea and not stop the wind from coming watu hapa sio kama wanaelewa kitu tunasema yesu anasema hivi he says like this huyu mtu asikia asilisikia neno this man would not hear the word fanya neno who don't do the word of god atafananishwa na mtu is like into a person jenga nyumba yake juu ya mchanga is house on a sand anasema upepo utakuja when the wind will come nikweli unasali kwa nabii lakini upepo utakuja nikweli unasali kwa apostle lakini upepo utakuja huko kwa mwinjilisi lakini upepo utakuja kama hauna neno if you don't have the word utashambuliwa you will be attacked anasema he says atafanishwa na mtu aliyejenga nyumba will be like to a person of big house ya mchanga on sand unaweza kufanya hiyo kitu can you do that kama Yesu anasema atakuwa mpumbavu yes this one will be a fool anasema mwenye hekima anasema na kila alisikia hayo maneno yangu 
asiyafanye atafanishwa na mtu mpumbavu sio mimi nasema anasema neno It's na mtu mpumbavu aliyejenga nyumba yake juu ya mchanga alafu endelea na maandiko anasema nini and he continues saying mvua ikanyesha rain came kwenye maisha tarajia mvua in this life expect rain unataka au hautaki whether like or not itanyesha tu rain will come hii mvua inayotajwa hapa sio mvua hii ya kukusababisha ulale ndani the rain is not that to cause you to sleep it is a rain for disturbance this is in a mvua ya usukufu mwagikia kama mvua kuna wakati mimi kama like nyuma niliwe kupigwa na majaribu kwa wiki moja nilipigwa majaribu saba there was a time one week i had seven ikan lazimu niondoke mbele za uso za watu nikajifungie kwanza chumbani it forced me to go kwa sababu hata nikitoa sura yangu namna hii naona kila kitu kinataka kuniua even when i, I show myself out i see some kitu kinakujia kama mvua there are times something come like rain yani ukitafuta maana ya mvua muangalie ayubu namna mvua ilimnyea when, when you want to know yes. the meaning of rain yani wakati anatafakari namna yeye anaambiwa na watoto thought, wako na hao wameangukiwa na ukuta are you are children wewe mvua imeachiliwa hapo no the rain is really eh, walipokuwa wanafanya ibada na kondoo nao wamebebwa walipokuwa wanafanya hiyo ndio mvua zinakuja ambazo unajaribu kusema ni sibie wapi ni anzie na hichi ama ni anzie na hichi ni kuse hichi ama ni acha hichi anasema kama hauna neno if you lack the world mvua itakuja rain will come sasa hii mvua nayo now this rain haishi hapo na mafuriko nayo yatakuja floods will come mafuriko hayaishi hapo oh, and there people nazo also zitafua wind will Zita come zitai ya ile nyumba ikaanguka nayo anguko lake and the fall itakuwa kubwa will be great si nyingine ni nini shetani anajua satan knows kulishika kwako neno kutembea sawa sawa na neno ndio uimara wako hata kaleta mvua it will bring the rain hata kaleta dhoruba it bring the storm sasa nataka ulie lakini utamtangazia mungu wangu yu hai kuna saa nataka ukate tamaa lakini utatangaza na yaweza mambo yote katika yeye anitiae nguvu ukifika kiwango hicho you are strong wewe una nguvu sasa ni mara ngapi unakutana na mtu adeneka mkono kichwani amen times someone put it hand in the head you say i'm done na rekisha i'm done nimeharibika yani hapa nakufa mungu anakuangalia anasema mwanangu wewe kwako neno langu ni reference you are my word is reference your life experience sio my shame hata kuliangalia neno langu kama reference hata neno langu liwe kwako experience ya maisha sema mimi na kama unanielewa amen <laughs> That's what bring us here. Hilo ndilo bring na tuleta hapa. Hiki nicho kimetufikisha. This is what brought us here. Hichi nicho kimenifikisha mimi hapa. This is what brought me. Huwa naamini yote yanawezekana. I believe all things are possible. Sio kwa sababu nasikia. No because of show yameandikwa na nimeona. They are written and I've seen. Na 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 kuna vilio vingi umelia vilihitaji kusimama tu kwa neno. Uh, many cries wanted you to stand with the word. Kuna mifungo mingi uliingia ikuhitaji mifungo ilihitaji kutamka neno. There are a lot of fasting only needed to speak a word. Mengine ulienda kujaribiwa ulipotoka tu ibadani ukao umeyasahau kaishia. Ukiri kile Mungu alichosema. They need you to proclaim what God said. Na wewe na uhakika Mungu akupi mitiani ili ufeli. God Shule doesn't give you test for you lengo, la, lengo lake ni kukujua umeelewa is aim is for you to see mungu for the time mungu hachi ili watu washindwe god does not release temptation kwa sababu mungu si mungu wa hila god is not a god of deception anapoachia mtiani when he leaves a temptation anategemea ya kwamba umeelewa he expect you understand na umtiani ni huyu mdhibitishie shetani wewe ni wa upande wake ni wa upande wa mungu you have to confirm to satan that you belong to god how many times we disappoint god mara ngapi unaendelea kum how many times we fail him mara ngapi tunaangalia na sasa umefunga siku kweli zote zofunga god said you have fasted all these days lakini mwanangu kinachokushinda wewe ni kusimama sawa sawa na neno langu what to fail is to stand according to my word ni kweli umetafuta kila mtu mishi na kila mtu amekuwekea mikono lakini kinachokushinda wewe si kwamba huna Mungu si kwamba siko na wewe si kwamba sikusikii shida yako ni kwamba you are not 
align with my word. So, Satan will bring you temptation. Rain comes. Storm comes. What is come? Your work is only to cry. You hide yourself when you cry. Because you don't know. Not, not having the word. I'm saying not having the word simplicity of Satan to attack you. Even if you're the deacon the church, even if you're a prophet, there are times as a minister Satan can attack you to be away from the word of God. You can't read the word. You fail to meditate. And this is normal. Listen, give the secret. Secret prepares a way to be a prophet too. There are things if any, even if you pray, you must be connected yourself, connected with the world. I wish there shall be people who, when the wind comes. The word Lipo. is there. Yes. When the storm comes, you cry say, I don't know what to do. No one with faith who know nothing to do. If you find yourself you don't know anything to do, that means your faith is already attacked. Because every faith comes with instruction. It may not come with explanation, but any faith comes with instruction. Abraham was given instructions and obeyed instructions he was given the father of faith get out from your father's house go to the land of show you that he moved he was known a man of faith because he went where he did not know you can't have faith in the man to do there are things you don't know how to do because of faith you have you have faith attacked because you don't have the word you have to be prayed over you don't like the word of now, God and listen completely people, people hear the word of God because the word of God is a prophet itself some people come to this church they never met me in the office but they are listening to the word of God they say okay when they get out their life but you continue evangelist Evangelist. Call me to come talk to you. I can come to encourage you. Listen, listen here on the altar. What wengi mafriko ya kija. Many people when the storm comes. When the flood comes. I gave a testimony one day. I was passing through the situations. Everyone raised against me. Vita ilikuwa nzito. The battle was fires. Nikaamua kufunga. I got myself to fasting. From today, I fast for the day. This way, I don't understand it. I must pray. At the midst of reading the scripture, the Spirit of God asked me a question. Daniel. Daniel. I said, yes, the Lord. I hear his voice. What are you doing? I say, I am praying. And I'm fasting. And he said to me, why are you fasting? I asked, don't you see what I'm passing through? He said, go and eat. I know you cannot understand. But the Holy Spirit said to me, go and eat. I said, go to eat. I rebuked that in the name of Jesus, I tell you, I must seek the face of God. I break all the space. He said to me, son, I say go and eat. And I obey and I go, I take the food. So when I was filled, I said, what do you mean? 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 I told you that you have to pass through this. Do you fast to postpone it? Yeah, unafunga ili uwairishe. Ni marangapi mungu anakupa ujume kwa mba kuna mahali utapita. How many times God give you a message? Na yakisha anza kutokea unengia mfungo. And when they happen, you begin fasting. Mungu anakuambia mwanangu ichi kikombi utanyuea. God says, my son, you must take this cup. Kama utakunyo, he says you must take this cup. If not, to make you to force you take the cup. One of the things I'll tell you. I don't know 
what the level of faith you can have to change the plan of God. Especially when God prepares you just like me. Jesus when you alitaka afunge akesha usiku mzima ayapindue mapenzi ya Mungu. Jesus you know prayed the whole night and the the will of God. Said, Father if it's possible habari ya misumari airisha the issue of nails please postpone this if it's possible if it's possible let this cup the first time many prayers not answered because you ran away from the will of God as the more you continue and not lot of I'm telling you go and make a research utakundua vitu vitu ndivyo vingangania you will find that the things you keep hakikisha yanavirudisha sa God you discover what God has said to you in the last you first because the man because God says we will wait for the man until you get surprised we first pray to ask not to be left alone because if in love I was also ditched and I prayed and asked God this one not leave me I can't leave that girl. This is my will, my, my son. Uh, you must be ditched. Usitake <laughs> Sema mimi nakaa unanielewa. Amen. Sema mimi nakaa unanielewa. Amen. Mengi unayoyangangania sio mapenzi ya Mungu. A lot of things you keep on going to the Lord. Takai chini. What you desire, unavyovitaka Mungu anafaidika na nini? Utagundua vingi unavyongangania Mungu ana mpango navyo. Many things you keep God has not planned. Kuna wahuni unawangangania ambao ukiwaangalia kanisani hawana hata chochote. You are keeping who yani, against the church. Kwanza Mungu wako hawamtaki. They don't even like your God. But you are filled with love. And now they are full of love. They have shown you their power. So you continue. You say, ah, I can't leave this one. You are confused by love. Many prayers are not answered because they want to overcome the will of God. Hello. Usipokuwa na neno if you don't have the word it is very easy for satan to attack you the loss is he wait for you you have gathered all the power for 40 days of prayer you will come the last day to test the word and you fail that's why we have a lot of fasting with a lot of disappointment <laughs> do you have enough faith to change the will of God? Yes, Jesus prayed three times. If it's possible, let this cup bypass me. The first time I am a son. Akaenda mara ya pili tena. Baba, Father, ikiwezekana kikombe hichi ni possible, let this cup bypass me. It could not work. Akaenda mara ya tatu tena. The third time. Akasema baba. He said father. Ikiwezekana kikombe hichi ni mke. Lakini si kama mimi tena nitakavyo. But not according to my will. Bwana kwa Now Lord said now. Nilitaka ujue you cannot change it. Take the cross and go and be crucified. I know you cannot change this thing that chukua msalaba nenda kusubiriwe. Ndipo Yesu akaenda kusulubiwa. That's why Jesus. Alafu maandiko yanasema naye alinyenyekea na kutii. The Bible says that. Si kwa sababu alizaliwa duniani, alinyenyekea na kutii hapa and obey mauti even to the death msalaba. and the death what of the cross. What qualified Jesus Christ as a obedient man? Kinachomfanya Yesu kuwa ni as an obedient son of God kama mwana wa Mungu mwenye utii to go to the cross which it was against his will ambayo ilikuwa ni kinyume cha mapenzi yake but it was the willing of lakini ilikuwa ni mapenzi ya Mungu why satan stop you to read the word of god kwa nini shetani anakuzuia kusoma neno la Mungu 
It help him to attack you easily. Inamsaidia shetani kushambulia kila isi. Wala hatumii nguvu. It does not use a lot of energy. Aisha hatumii nguvu. Hatumii nguvu. Shetani anawafahamia watu. Yaani anakuacha. Ndio maana kuna saa utamwangalia mtu unamuona ni kama ana vurugu vurugu. Yaani kwenye uimbaji ni vurugu. Muimbaji ana moto ana neno. Eh. Una una una, una, una sauti una neno. Kumbuka hata shetani naye ana sauti. Na wa mataifa nao wana sauti. Ndio maana sasa uimbaji wa injili nao umefanyika kama ni kama ni biashara. Uimbaji wa injili sio biashara ni huduma Because ya kuvua roho za watu. Even the gospel is now, is now commercialized. Usituimbie nyimbo za kutuvutia. Don't sing for us to no, attract no, no, no. us. That's not the hiyo sababu ya wewe Mungu kuita kwenye huduma hiyo. This is not the cause of reason of this is not the reason for God calling that ministry. Siku moja nilimwambia mtu mmoja. One day I told one person. Nikamwambia ni kweli umeachia uimbo. Truly of least this son. Lakini Mungu ananiambia. But God is telling me. Umewafurahisha wanadamu lakini sio yeye. You please the men not God. Inawezekana ukawafurahisha watu. It's possible for you to please men. Lakini si Mungu. But not to please God. Hayo maana sasa hivi watu wanatafuta tufurahi kitu kihiti. That's why people want only their songs to hit. Na ndio maana wakiona huyu ameimba na wanyoa na mposti ameimba ame ni support. When this one is saying they support it. Hello, watu wanatafuta uhai na usima wa nafsi zao. Waimbaji wa injili na wasikie. You know the gospel singer that you hear this. We don't want motivation. Ataki. Sasa hivi watu wakai weponi kwa Mungu kutafuta download mafunuo ya ya nyimbo wanatutungia na wanatengeneza na fashion nzuri unakaa unaangalia sasa aise kimewaka kivideo kiko vizuri sisi hatutafuti video watoto wa Mungu we, video ambayo haiponyi roho za watu it is a deception we are not looking for good video from the gospel songs the video Ajua, which is good amina. but that is how it is like in divo jinsi ilivyo na hiyo imaanishi usifanye vitu vizuri. Does not mean you should not do good things. Lakini hakikisha intention yako. But make sure you are ni Mungu ya yako ya ndani. Ni Mungu God na utukufu wake ushuke. And let his glory come down. Na watu waathiriwe. And let people have impact. Ndio kuna nyimbo mimi utanikuta naimba. And that's why I can't sing certain songs. Uh, Waimbe wanaona ni bora lakini to me those uh, those feel okay is, let them sing. It is not in my playlist. Lakini kwangu hazipo katika orodha ya nyimbo zangu. Mwaka huu alikuja Thursday Sunday. This is there they came to Philosophy Sunday. Pale ukumbini at Ubongo Plaza. Nikao nimeinama chini namna hii. And I was just like this. That man was singing. Yule jamaa alikuwa akiimba. Alikuwa na sauti alikuwa anaziachia. And he listened in voices. And ask Holy Spirit. Nikamuuliza Roho Mtakatifu. Where are these voices are coming from? Sauti hizi zinatoka wapi? Kwa sababu kuna kilio unakisikia. Because there is a cry. Ambacho ukikisikia. That you hear it. Unasema hichi kilio ni cha namna gani? Bwana What the man of this cry? Bwana akaniambia huyu mtu. God said this man. Nimemzawadia nime sauti za tai. I've rewarded him with the voice of ego. He said to me I give him the the voice of an ego i've given him Nikiwa the voice of ego. As as i was in the crusade nikamwambia mungu nifufanulie vizuri akaniambia ego tai ni mmoja wa nyama ambaye nimembariki sauti nyingi variety of sound is one of the birds that are blessed with a lot of voices and you nimempa na yeye and this so god amskia na bwana so anaimba ukisikia sauti mpaka moyo wako unadunda dunda na mimi yeah is voice your heart is responding because the people have been with God. The people would sit in the court. I will make them to hear my words. I will make them to hear my words. There's so many people cannot be mentored. Because inside of them don't like to listen from God. We are only running to the market. He said, I've given him the voice. Zaiko. The voices of ego. Kamia Mungu nieleze vizuri. I said God can you clarify? Akaniambia, he said, mia tatu stili. 360. I said God. I said God. A single man, mtu mmoja, ana sauti zaidi ya 360 ndani yake. Is more than 360 voices. Nikamuuliza Mungu hivi hichi kitu unachoniambia anajua? That you should tell me does he know? Mungu aliishia hapo akuniambia anajua wewe. Pengine za kawa hata aliyepewa hajui. Perhaps even him saying there's not kuna baraka nyingi Mungu aweza kuziachia kwako usizijue kama zipo. Because there are many places. Ni mpaka kuziona zinafanya kazi ukaziruhusu zifanye kazi. When you see them coming and working and you allow them to work. Mwanadamu mmoja aliyepewa neema ya ajabu. One man was given a strange grace. I said my God. Hii si kitu ya kawaida. This is not normal. 
Ndio unaona kama kina Nathaniel Bethlehem. Now you see people like uh, Pastor Nathaniel Basi. Hawa ni watu ambao wanakaa na msirini na Mungu. These are people stay the Wakitoka wanaimba vinyimbo vya kawaida tu. Wala hawatungi korasi au ungalishi mess. Wanatokea tu wanaimba vitu vya kawaida. Alafu unaona utukufu wa Mungu. You see the glory of God coming. You see the glory of God coming. Emmanuel Unaona wanaimba. And you see them singing. Wa Mungu unaonekana. And you see the glory of God. Leo tunachanganya, tunaunganisha. Unganisheni na kuunganisha msiporudi sisi. Na sisi hatuungi. But if you don't come to the sacred place you cannot just connect. Kwa hiyo kutokuwa na neno kuna mraisishia shetani. So not having the word make it simple for Satan. Namba 3 kwa nini shetani anakuzuia kwenye neno why satan stop you ni ili kuzuia hatima yako in order to stop your destiny kuzuia hatima yako to stop your destiny kwa mara ya kwanza yesu anaanza kuishi destiny yake for the first time jesus lived his destiny aliishi kaluni he lived in the temple aliishi kwa kulisoma neno and he lived by studying the word akaingia kaluni the bible say he got in the temple wakampa chuo cha nabii saya they gave him maandiko anasema akatafuta mahali palipoandikwa the bible say he sought a place the spirit of the lord is upon maana amenitia mafuta because there's anointing huyu mwanaume yesu anayeanza kutimiza kilichomleta duniani this man maana amenitia mafuta kwa ubingo mwenyekevu wa barinjeni he has anointed me to put the poor waliofungwa barinjeni The person is good news. And he finished. And he finally says, listen, this part of the scripture has been fulfilled among your hearings. When the place comes, for your destiny to be opened, the word of God must be accomplished. Jesus completely said, the words of God have been accomplished leo today anaanza hatima yake hapo he started ndo akamchukua wakati anaenda kumtupa kwenye makoroni so they want to throw him lakini akapita katika dia but he passed amidst them ni neno gani linatimia kwenye maisha yako hivi what the word is accomplishing your life kama hauna if you don't have it hujaanza hatima bado you have not started your destiny yes yesu alitafuta jesus sought akasema he said maneno haya this part of scripture have been accomplished leo among your hearing Namba 4. Hapa ngoja niende haraka. Kwa nini shetani anakupinga neno na Mungu? Kukuzuia ukuaji wako wa kiroho. Satan stop for your Satan stop your spiritual growth. Anakuzuia usiwe karibu na neno. Satan stop you from being close to the word of God. Kwa sababu in order anazuia ukuaji wako because it stops your spiritual maturity wezi kukua you cannot mature nje ya neno la Mungu outside the word of god wezi kuongezeka you cannot have increase in the spirit outside the word of god so shetani anachofanya so what satan does anakuzuia satan stops you anakuzuia kukua it stops you to grow spiritually anahakikisha ukui satan makes sure that you, you remain stagnant na mimi nitakuwa kanisani Januari mpaka Disemba. This will be in the church January to December. Neno huwa linaingiaga huko. The word get eh? through one ear linatokea huko and get out through the next. Wala alikai moyoni mwako. And the word does not dwell in your heart. Miaka saba, Seven years. Uko ndani ya kanisa. You are in the church. Hauami viwango. You never shift levels. Mungu alipokuokoa jaja ukae ukae tu hapa. God not save you. Yes, Anataka ukue uongezeke. God want you to grow up. Ufike mahali kwenye viwango anasema sasa wewe. God want you to reach hivi. levels. Sasa wewe say, fanya hivi. Sasa unakaa miaka 10. So 10 years in the church. Wewe ni sawa na tawi lisilo za. You are like the branch that never bears fruit. Anasema nitali kata. God says I will cut it off. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Funga mikono yako namna hii. Shetani anazuia ukuaji wako. Satan stop your growth. Kwa sababu kusoma kwako neno na kuwa familia neno la Mungu ndio kukua kwako. You are reading the word you get familiar with the word of God that marks your growth. Kwa nini Mungu ananisisitiza mwanzoni mwa mwaka huu ni nisisitize hivi vitu why god, why god make me to emphasize with the beginning of the year to emphasize ana mpango wa kubariki watu sana sana wengi ambao wamefungamana na neno lake god has a plan to bless many people today who are connected with his world shetani anakupinga satan opposes you anazuia he stops you ukuaji wako satan stops you are growth labda nikuulize hapa let me ask you here uh, 
Maybe I ask you a question. If you don't understand the word, what do you do? Because when the apostles do not understand the word, they talk Jesus. They ask Jesus, please clarify for us the parable of a sower. If you don't understand the word of God, after the service, you read it and don't understand. Do you take the step of the disciple? That's what's needed. You might be tied, not understand. But what do you do after you fail to understand? When the disciples fail to understand, they want Jesus to die. They said, Rabbi, tell us the meaning of the parable of Esau. And they want to ask you, when you don't understand the Bible, what do you do next? Oh, you say, anyway, 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 I don't understand. Are you okay. concerned to a pastor? J. What kind of work do you do? If you do nothing, you are stagnant. You can go nowhere. Yeah, God said, ask the church and ask everyone. That Philip, he went to help the eunuch. This man was reading a scripture from Jerusalem. See, he was taken like a lamb. They killed him, they brought him. He's a prayer. Who is this man, Isaiah? He never understood what he was reading. So the spirit appeared to Philip. Go down to the word going to the wilderness. You'll find a man. Teach him. Biblia inasema akamkuta akamuuliza yana kuelewa haya unayosoma. Do you understand what you read? Anasema nawezaje kuelewa? How can I understand? Ikiwa sina mtu akunielewesha. There's no one to make me understand. Kuna wakati unahitaji mtu akukuelewesha neno. There are times when a person who is so vizuri utaona. When the scripture says Wakati wa mfalme nafikiri sijui ni nani ni Yosia, Yoshua, Yosia. The time of the kings. Maandiko anasema naye akajitia alitawala akiwa na miaka 16 that king became a king at the eh? age of 16. Uzia. 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 So the Bible says Uzia. Uzia encouraged himself in the Lord to learn about God. The time of Zechariah the chief priest who had the revelation about the word of God. What I mean here for a venture truly your understanding is low. You are down but to watch Zachariah are you? You deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. Akamwambia. He told him. How can I understand? How can I understand? If no one makes me understand. So he took Philip to the child. There are people you must kill your pride. Forget about your wealth. So how you are married? Then invite me of God to teach you about the word of God. That is what that man did. That's what he said. Hey, Joe. So he started the Bible saying with the same scripture and he taught him the good news of the kingdom. The man was born again. He became a priest. The Bible says he is the one who took the gospel of Ethiopia. And that was why Ethiopia was not colonized. You deserve the glory. You might have thirst. Jesus. 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 Reko sonto to paradada ya ketete bahai. Reto to bi hisi kabata ta ya bahares. Reto to bi. Kwanini shetani na kupinga kwenye neno? Why Satan attacking the world? 
anakupinga usiwe karibu na la Mungu ili awe na nguvu ya kupinga maombi yako. Is opposing you not to be close to the word so that you can intervene in your prayers. Ili aweze kuyazuia maombi yako. It to stop your prayers. Ili aweze kuyapinga maombi yako. Not oppose your prayers. Kuna saa unamuomba Mungu. There are times you ask God. Na unaamini anajibu. And you believe God answers your prayers. Wakati Mungu anatarajia kujibu. When God is almost to answer you. Shetani anawahi kwenye kiti cha enzi cha. Satan goes to the city of throne of God. Anamwambia Mungu. And he says God. Neno lako linasema hivi. Your word says like this. Mbona naona kama wengi wa Kristo wengi kinachotubeba ni rehema za Mungu Many na neema ya Mungu kwa kweli. Sio kwa sababu tunaomba. Na ndio maana lazima ufike mahali hizo bidii zote ulizonazo uziweke kuwa submissive kwenye rehema zake na You must come to a point whatever effort you have must make them submissive to the mercy of God. Anawai anasema unamjibuje huyu? So something goes and say how can you answer him? Neno lako linasema. Your word says. Wewe una unawaheshimu wanaokuheshimu. You honor those who honor you. Na unawadharau wanaokudharau. Biblia says God is by the Bible says. Huyu mtu unayetaka kumjibu. The person who want to answer him. Ana mashtaka. He has got a sense. Sawa sawa na vifungu vya neno lako. Call his script of your word. 1 2 3 4 5 Five. Anakuwa na uwezo wa kupinga. So he can oppose you. Sasa zingine Mungu anamwambia wewe kwenda kwa shetani. Mimi namhurumia kwa rehema zangu. Get away. Ndio maana unaona kamwanga kama jibu. Yes, I see some light. Namhurumia kwa rehema zangu. Alafu sasa ukishaurumia unavunyanyuka sasa. Nimeomba msifanye mtani. When you raise you say I go up. I pray. It is not simple for me. Unaniona nilivyokonda. You see. Mambo yatoke hivi hivi. Think that Mungu anasema mwanangu wewe nimemkwa. God says my child. Yaani wewe hujajua. You don't know yet. Wewe nimemkwa. You are a dropout. Mimi nimekusaidia tu mwanangu. I've just help you my son. Kwa sababu ulikuwa tena una zero wewe. Because after all you had zero. Kifo cha mwanangu pale msalabani kimekufunulia neema. The death of my son. Neema ikakustahilisha usistahili. And the grace qualified the one who was no merit. Every time. Kila wakati. Remember to su- to, to submit. Kumbi- kumbuka every of your effort. Kuweka you deserve to the mercy and the grace of god chini ya rehema na neema za mungu all of your sacrifice kila aina ya kujitoa kwako must be submissive lazima iwe chini to the grace of god kwa neema ya mungu kuna vitu mungu alikufanyia sio kwa sababu ya ile sadaka there are things god did but not Pengine because of ibiba ukutoa kama alivyotaka so not giving accordingly kuna vitu mungu alikusaidia sio kwa sababu ya maombi uliyoomba not because of your prayers pengine yale maombi uliyoomba ni ya uchungu na hasira maybe your prayers full of anger it to submit Kumbuka, all of your sacrifice kumbuka kuweka dhabihu zako zote to the grace and the mess of god achini ya neema ya rehema za mungu that you are religious kama hujajua hivyo unakuwa ni mtu wa dini you deserve the glory you deserve the hana mwahakikisha ile somo linafika kwa watu tafadhali msitumiwe na kufuatilia hapa make sure this um, is moving through the internet na ikiwa nimewaacha watu kwenye sehemu yoyote uhakikisha unarudia somo lote unaliandika na wanalipata. Sema amen. Say amen. Kwa nini shetani pia anapinga usisome neno? Why Satan stop you from reading the Bible? Anapinga ushirika wako na Mungu. Is uh, opposing your fellowship with God. Kazi ya shetani ni ili apinge ushirika wako na Mungu. The work of Satan is to break your fellowship with God. Kupinga ushirika wako. To come against your relationship. Yohana sura ya 14 ule msari wa 23 hapo nasoma haraka mara moja. Yohana sura ya 14 ule msari wa 23 ngoja nikuonyeshe neno linavyowafanya watu kuwa shirika na Mungu. Let me show you how the word. Na nafikiri hapo hivi vingine nitawaandikia kwenye mtandao mtaona. Yesu akajibu akawaambia Jesus answered and said to him akinipenda, If anyone loves me will keep my word Angalia sasa anasema Look, na baba yangu and my father atampenda will love him nasi tutakuja kwake si nitakuja kwake not I so but tutakuja kwake we will come to him na kufanya makao and make our home kwake with him nje ya neno outside the word of god hauna ushirika na Mungu there is no fellowship with god anasema tutakuja kwake he said we shall come to him na tutafanya makao and make a yake. dwelling place inside of him anasema nitakuja you know say i will come anasema yeyote anilisikiliza neno langu whoever hears my word na akalishika akalifanya keep my word and do tutakuja it tutakuja kwake we will come to him do you want to host god unataka kuwa na mungu ndani yako dwell in his word ka katika neno lake i want to host him <laughs> nataka kumchukua mungu i want to host him nataka kukaribisha mungu 
Job. Not only Jesus said, welcome, welcome. No, 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 no. How far are you close to his word? You will host him. Not only Jesus, Jesus and his father, like father will come. Not so to Jesus, Baba Yaki at the Kweku. We will come to him and make in him the dwelling place. You deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na mwisho kabisa shetani anakupinga kwenye neno ili kuzuia kiwango cha juu cha utakaso. And lastly certainly uh, oppose you so as to stop from you the highest level of sanctification. Wewe shumu umesoma kwa habari ya Anania na Zafira walivyokuwa weizi. Ukikaribia tu kuiba utakumbuka habari ya Anania na Zafira. Umetakaswa kwa hilo neno ulilisoma na kulielewa. Imagine you read about Ananias and Sapphira and Sapphira and when you remember that and I say this year shall have a crusade of teaching Christians. the first crusade of yes. teaching people are sanctified by the world yes. Yes. the world is a means of sanctification yes. This was certain that disconnected people from the word of God. Kumbuka, remember, utakaso, sanctification, ni kama license, license, kibali. Eh, ni kama kibali cha kutembea na Mungu. It's like a license to walk with God. Sema the Bible says, whoever na sanctifies, it, continue to sanctify. Though you see yourself you are holy. Ingawaje unajiona kama mtakatifu but, but continue to try moja ya njia ya utakaso one of the way of sanctification watu wanatakaswa kwa neno people are sanctified by the word bibi anasema watakase kwa ile kweli ehe sanctify Na, them by your word neno truth. lako and your word ndio kweli is the truth so neno if your word ni alama ya utakaso is a mark of sanctification mtu asifungamana na neno a man who is not connected with the word wango cha kutembea na Mungu hata kuwa nacho. You not have a certain level of walking with God. Kuna vitu na kuhakikishia vihitaji ufunge na kuoa. I'm telling there are things you don't have to fast and pray. Vinahitaji ujue kanuni za neno la Mungu. You only need to know the principles of the work of God. Wiki iliyopita nilisema unaweza ukafunga mpaka ukawa na mkia. Last if, I said you shall you can fast until you grow a tail. You will suffer. Lakini kama una neno na naomba ujue anayeongea na wewe ni mfungaji mzuri. I'll tell you the one speak to you is a good faster. I fast ninafunga. I think nadhani nishi hapo. Let me end. But I know the importance of fasting. Lakini najua umuhimu wa kufunga. But this is what I can tell you. Lakini hilo ndilo unaweza kukuambia. You cannot substitute fasting. Uwezi kuweka mbadala wa kufunga na neno la Mungu. You cannot substitute prayer. Uwezi kuweka mbadala wa maombi with the with the word of God. Na maneno ya Mungu. Let the word of God stand. Acha neno la Mungu lisimame. Yes. Because everything we do Kwa sababu kila kitu tunafanya katika ulimwengu huu katika ufalme huu inahusianishwa moja kwa moja na neno la Mungu. So Yohana sura ya 17 Ive John 17 17 unasema watakase sanctify them kwa ile kweli by that truth neno lako and your word ndio kweli is so kuna kiwango cha utakaso utafika there is a level of sanctification you cannot reach ni kwa sababu hauja because you are not intertwined with the word naomba nikutajezi njia anazotumia adui shetani kukupinga katika kufuatilia neno nakutajia tu mara moja namba moja shetani ili akupinge kulifuatilia neno la Mungu started to oppose you atakufunga ufahamu wako Satan will block your understanding na utajueje umefungwa ufahamu wako au mambo utayaelewa moja one utakuwa uelewi neno you not understand the world yes kabisa uelewi you don't understand the world yeye unakuwa ni mkristo lakini unakuja kanisani ni kama mtu ambaye uelewi tulipoanzia ulio tulipoishia you are a christian you come to church but don't know where we start and where we end kwa sababu ufahamu umefungwa because your understanding is tied second atakusababisha usikumbuke will cause you to forget the world anakusaulisha hilo neno it makes you to forget the world hapo hapo hizi ni alama ya ufahamu uliofungwa kwenye neno this a mark of mind closed in the world hautaelewa neno usielewe neno you want understand the world usikumbuke neno you want to remember the world lakini pia usisikie but also, usilisikie neno you will not hear the world yes usilisikie wala kulisikiliza you not hear or listen to the world lakini pia atakuzuia wakati wewe usiwe na wepesi sometimes certain will stop you having that lightness unataka kusoma biblia tu unajisikia kama ah when you want to read the bible you feel heavy labda baadaye maybe you postpone it maybe later nikiwa nimetulia maybe later when i said to mwaka umeisha hujaweza kusoma biblia you find that the years come to the end you have not read the bible 
anakuondolea wepesi katikati ya mahubiri namna hii unasikia tu kushiba umesinzia namna hii macho yanakuwa yamekunda uh, when we are preaching like this you are stumbling and you are anasema mimi and he says i najua nitakachokufanya baada i know what to do to you next nitakuja vizuri i'll come to you beautifully alafu utaona uokovu ni mamluki kumbe wewe ndio ulikuwa mamluki mkubwa and we say that the salvation is mediocre but when the major might you can lipa kumbe wewe ndio ulikuwa unapoteza muda ndani ya kanisa you say salvation does not pay not knowing with the one wasting time and you anasema nilikuwa kijana sasa ni mzee the bible say oh, the youth now i'm old sijawaiona mwenye haki ameachwa seen the rest has been so forsaken no is she begging bread in the streets ma sopre che te le bahata atakusababisha usiwe mwepesi will cause you not like wakati mwingine hapo hapo wenye kufunga ufahamu in the same atakupa roho ya mapuuza kupuuzia neno it give you the heart of ignoring the word of god Yes kupuuzia. You will ignore it. Watu wangapi hapa mnawashirikisha ndugu zenu neno unamnona wako kwenye matatizo na wataki kusikia wana puuzia eh? How many people here you show the relatives but they ignore ya kupuuzia puuzia tu mambo ya kiroho. They give you the spirit of ignoring the word of God. Kwa kadi unavyowaambia wana puuzia? The more you tell them they ignore you. Hawa na puuzia. They ignore you. Hawachukuli kama ni kitu cha mzigo. They don't take it seriously. Hawachukuli kama ni kitu cha msingi. They don't take it uh, wana puuzia. Unajua kwa nini wana puuzia? Do you know why they take it? Kwa sababu zimefunga because they understand so whatever they are taught they ignore tangu naanza hujasukumu hata kuandika kwa sababu unapuuzia from the moment i start you don't push you have been pushed to write down because you ignore it mapuuza na kwa sababu hiyo sasa and because of that now anafanikiwa kukupinga kwenye satan is succeeding to oppose you in the world namba 2 Second, baada ya kukufunga ufahamu wako after itai your understanding anavuruga ufahamu wako anaweza kuvuruga pia ufahamu wako certain can also manipulate your mind gafalo anakuta anakupitisha kwenye vitu vingi vya kuchafua moyo wako suddenly certain take you into things to destroy your heart ama kuchafua ufahamu wako to defile your understanding wengine unainukiwa na mke wako some of you your wife raise a case unainukiwa na mume wako your husband raise a case unainukiwa na wafanyabiashara wenzako moyo unachafuka so your heart mawazo yanachafuka you know the, Your thoughts. You can't focus. See what David says. Mawazo ya moyo wangu. The thoughts of my heart. Nayapate kibali. Let them receive favor before you. Kuna sanga angalia sana. There are times be careful. Satan vuruga fahamu za watu. Manipulate minds of people. Tena fahamu za kiroho. And the spiritual mindset. Na mara nyingi huwa anatumia mazingira. And he uses environment. Always Satan manipulate environment. Satan Satan will manipulate because environment. Because even you are saving your product of the environment. Sababu hata wewe pia ni matukio ya mazingira. So for Satan to destroy you. So ili shetani akuharibu. He know how to deal with your environment. Anajua namna kushughulika na mazingira yako. Ameona imani uliona ule na nani. Is you are faith. Unashangaa upate mteja hata mmoja una surprise. You get no customer and then you get frustrated. Unaomba usiku na ombea na familia. Na ongea kwa family. Baba mlinde na mme wangu. Mbariki na yeye bwana. Bless my husband. Bless my husband. Let my husband get money. Ana mume wako yeye anakuja anakuambia wewe mbuzi acha kufanya. The same your husband tell you you got to stop what you doing. Ana kutamkia maneno ya kukukebehi mpaka unasema you despise you. Until you say e. Unajua watu wameshtuka alivyosema wewe mbuzi. Ah nina maneno mengi ambayo watu wanatajwa na ume zao. I've got many words. What do people the husband say because they are prayers because of prayers we shetani you devil na wewe unaomba and you also pray adui ana uchafua moyo wako so satan anachafua ufahamu wako you know defile your heart Badai. defile your soul later on amekushinda he has overcame you you deserve the glory kwa nini shetani anavuruga ufahamu wako why satan manipulate you when you appeal the second point ili akuondolee utulivu in order to remove from you that quietness yes kuna utulivu unahitajika biblia inasema nguvu zenu zitakuwa katika kutulia they say the bible say that your strength will be in silence na huko ukikutana na vitu ambavyo unaona vinakuchanganya kichwani kumbuka hakuna jambo lisilowezekana kwa Mungu when you come across things which man put to my remember that is possible for god you are the first to come back usianisha ule uliokutana nayo na neno la Mungu so connect what we passing through with the word of god acha kuwa frustrated usichanganyikiwe na maana mimi ni miongoni mwa watu ambao you cannot frustrate me among the people you cannot yani i believe so everything is possible ninaamini kila kitu kinaweza na shetani anajua anajua na shetani anajua shetani knows that 
Kwa nini shetani ana kwa nini anavuruga ufahamu wako? Ni hii usiwa na utulivu. Manipulate your mind. So Sasa kingine shetani anavuruga ufahamu wako. Satan sometimes. Ili akuondoe kwenye kweli ya kuletea deception. Manipulate yes. you your mind take you away from the truth and it manipulate you bring you deception. Ndio utakutana na watu ambao That's why you find people wanatumia maandiko kudefend upumbavu wao. They use the scriptures to defend their foolishness because their mind is always manipulated. Deception imepata nafasi. Moja kati ya eneo deception inafanya kazi kwa kiongozi kikubwa ni mahali ambapo unaanza kutetea makosa yako kwa maandiko. One, of, one of the area in which deception works is when you find excuses in your mistakes. Mwenye sikio na asikie. Unanielewa kitu unasema? Unaanza kuyatengeneza, unaitumia Biblia kuficha. You use the Bible kujitetea to find excuses. Badala utubu unatumia maandiko kukava. Hii ni alama ya mtu ambaye ufahamu wake umevurugika. Instead of repenting, you use the Bible to cover up your problems. Njia nyingine anayotumia shetani nini namba 3? Another means that Satan uses. Yona mbili kasoma kitabu cha Zaburi sura ya 19 mstari wa 14. Namba 3 na nimekaribia kumaliza. Huwa anaondoa bidii yako. Satan take away your hard working. Angalia kile kitabu cha Yeremia sura ya 4 ule mstari wa 22 Biblia. The book of Jeremiah chapter 4. Yeremia sura ya 4 nimekaribia kumaliza pointi ya mwisho hii. Yeremia sura ya 4 mstari wa 22 Biblia inasema nini? Kwa maana watu wangu ni wapumbavu. For my people are foolish. Hawanijui. They have not known me. Ni watoto waliopungukiwa na akili. They are silly children. Wala hawana ufahamu. They have no understanding. Ni wenye akili katika kutenda me- mabaya. They are wise to do evil. Bali katika kutenda mema hawana but maarifa. Do, but to do good they have no knowledge. Anasema ni watu wangu. He said these are my people. Lakini wapumbavu. But they are foolish. Na si tu wapumbavu. Not only foolish. Hawanijui. They have not known me. Na si tu hawanijui. Not only not know me. Ni watoto waliopungukiwa na akili. They are silly children. Oh wala hawana ufahamu they have no understanding ni wenye akili katika kutenda mabaya they are wise to do evil bali katika kutenda mema but in doing good hawana maarifa they have no knowledge manake ni nini what it means adui anakupiga bidii yako katika mambo ya kiroho ufahamu wa kiroho anazuia the enemy sasa utakachokuwa nani utakuwa na bidii katika mambo ya siofaa so, lakini sio katika mambo ya rohoni so, na ndio maana kwenye eneo la Mungu unaweza ukasinzia unaweza usielewe unaweza usilichukulie kawaida kwa sababu gani katika ulimwengu wa roho anasema hawana akili. Mwisho. Lastly, mwisho kabisa. Lastly, mwisho kabisa. Na naomba watu wa online muhakikishe mnawaandikia. Lastly, pointi zote ambazo tumewaacha. Mwisho kabisa. Lastly, shetani huiba neno. Satan steals the world. Haleluya. Haleluya. Kwani hujasoma maandiko? I've been to read the scriptures. The Bible says they come the evil one and steal the word from their hearts. You receive the word of God with joy, but he comes and steals. Satan is a strategic thief. Is a strategic thief. He don't just only steal your money. He don't only steal your He don't only steal your husband. He can even steal the word of God. That's the danger of Satan. If you are a thief, you are only pretending. Yaani shetani anaibadi kwenye mioyo ya watu. He can steal the word of God. from the heart of people the word of God. Anabeba. Read the Bible. Anasema huja yule mmovu wa kaliba. The Bible says comes the evil one and still kalibeba lile neno mioyo. He carries away the word from their hearts. Ama umelisoma mwenyewe? Either you read it yourself? Ama umehubiriwa madhabahuni? Or is it preach on the altar? Shangaa na kuja na kufunza. Kama ambao wale wanaotumia PC wanatembeaga na nini? Wanatembea na nini? Wewe flash. Eh <laughs> <laughs> e, wewe ndo mtambo, wewe ndo mtambo wenye so neno. This is the software Sema with the word. Wewe ndo mtambo wenye so, neno so na unakaanga kiti cha mbele kila siku, mtambo. So this one is the transformer sitting the, the front seat. Anafyonza yote alafu so, anaenda mahali pa kudelete, anasema delete. So they take everything. Utaamini mtu anayekusikiliza kila kitu anakuwa akui kuliko wote. The man who listen to you every day but is not growing. Kwa nini? Shetani anachofanya. Because what Satan does? Satan sucks out the word of God. Mungu akubariki sana. God bless you, Messiah. Na asante kwa kuja. And thank you for coming. Shangilie Bwana kwa mabariki. Serve Jesus for your words.
Stand on your feet. You deserve the glory. Close your eyes and lift your hands to the Father. And you have to ask you if you are here and you are not born again. And you desire to give Jesus your life this is the chance you can't get everywhere except in the altar so close your eyes please your eyes. this is a chance you can't find in your office you can't get this chance in your family you can't have this chance wherever this chance you only get it from God you say evangelists I've heard you and I wish, I wish to restore my personal relationship to God I feel like I'm far away from God and I need restoration tonight please run and come forward run and come forward remember you can't get this chance elsewhere except in the altar of God Ooh, 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 ooh. I am waiting for you come. You, why are you late? Can you sing the song? You, you provide fire. Uh, bring these people to the front. I'll provide a sacrifice. You provide a spirit. I will open up his side. You provide fire. I provide a sacrifice. You provide spirit. I will open up the side. The Bible says, if you have not what special for you? If you are there and you are driven to come, don't be afraid. Online, rudia, pamoja, na sema, e buwana yesu, e buwana yesu. Ninasogea mbele zako. Ninasogea mbele zako. Siku ya leo. Siku ya leo. Ninajua kabisa. Ninajua kabisa. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Na nikisema sina dhambi. Na nikisema sina dhambi. Na jidanganya mwenyewe. Jidanganya mwenyewe. Wala kweli ya imo ndani ya. Wala kweli ya imo ndani ya. Naomba unisame. Unisame. Kabisa.
Futa makosa yangu Futa dhambi zangu Katika jina la Yesu Na kiri kugeuka Na kiri kuacha Na kiri kukufuata Siku zote za maisha yangu Nimejua kabisa Siwezi kujisaidia mwenye Na ndio mana nimekuja kwa ako Ulie kuja kunisaidia E Yesu Unisaidie Futa dhambi zangu Na makosa yangu Nyesabie haki Kwa utukufu wako Tangu siku ya leo Nime okoka Na Yesu Kristo ni buwana Na mokozi 